It's one of the most famous posters in movie history. The iconic poster for The Sound of Music was painted by artist Howard Turpening. You can visit his website and see the art for which he's most famous, portraits and paintings of Native American people and landscapes. This poster had a double chance for being popular because it was also the cover of the top-selling original soundtrack album, also issued in 1965. It's classic poster storytelling because it pulls together different elements from different parts of the film and sort of reimagines them. This main portrait of Julie Andrews looks like she's arriving at the Von Trapp Villa. The kids behind her are following her and they're wearing their do re mi outfits, the ones Maria made from the curtains. Off to the side, we have Captain Von Trapp looking very disapproving. That's from when Maria first meets the Von Trapp family. And we have different elements of Salzburg and the surrounding countryside in the background. Although there is no scene exactly like this in the movie, it gives a good idea of the movie's plot and storytelling elements. With the focus on Maria leading the children into the countryside for their picnic, and thanks to her voice and guitar, we'll learn about the joy of the sound of music. But are we overlooking something? Let's take a closer look. A much closer look. For down here, in the corner above the credits, we can see, if we look closely, someone riding a bicycle by this fountain. Well, we know who that is. It's Rolf, the telegram delivery boy played by Daniel Truitt in a terrific performance. So was Rolf really in this scene in the movie? Well, yes and no. There is actually a deleted scene where Liesel accidentally runs into Rolf as Maria and the children are on their way to the Alpine Meadow. And this scene occurs in front of this fountain in Salzburg. In this scene, Rolf really looks down on Liesel because of her outfit and mocks her for going on a picnic, which he regards as being for children. This is kind of shocking because this is the day after the big 16 going on 17 scene. So it really shows a transformation, not an evolution, but a devolution into the nasty Nazi we see him becoming because let's not ever forget what this movie is actually about. It's kind of fun to spot Rolf here, because Daniel Truitt is the most overlooked member of the main Sound of Music cast, so at least he's included here on the poster, even if in Easter egg form. When the Sound of Music was reissued in 1973, this poster was reimagined cropping in on the main image of Julie Andrews. No surprise there. So unfortunately, poor Rolf was deleted again. <laughs>